So today we had a little bit more footage from the day before and some non-info from the NVIDIA CES 2023, as well as Fantastic's uh, workspace showcase, which pretty much was just them on vacation, I think, shoving a laptop in somebody in the middle of the mountains. And I thought it'd be fun to stream this and chat about it live with you guys. So this is the footage from that stream. I still don't think this game is real, but uh, there, there, here's the footage. Check, check it out and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you peeps next time. So these are the houses from Prop House uh, that I follow on Twitter, which was uh, is co-owned and co-founded by one of the modelers and world creators for Miscreated. Uh, they made these props, all the houses and things. And I think how Keanu said the cars, I'm not sure if it's these cars, but some of the cars are from the apocalyptic pack on the Unreal Engine. So there's a lot of it that's taken straight from the store, the Unreal store. So this shot here, we've seen in a screenshot, which I think Prop House posted, because if you look to the left of the camera here, straight ahead of the car, there's the houses, and they said, that's our houses. Really proud that our houses are in this game. Number one wishlisted game. But this is a different angle of that same shot. Uh, so the city shot is good, but this we've kind of seen. It's a different shot of that same shot we've seen. Uh, this shot, yeah, this is different. It's a, yeah. I think the other one was a gas station in the first trailer that they stop at at night. This is a 24-hour shop. Uh, it looks like a police car there. We've got some zombies here. Yeah, definitely a different location. Third person over the shoulder shots. Quick deaths on the zombies. I was a little bit worried they were a bit bullet spongy. And here we have an FPS camera. Whether we'll have FPS mode, uh, hardcore mode, first person only, is yet to be seen because a lot of it is third person. The big pad backpacks, different types of backpacks. Containers on the backpacks. Don't know whether that's just uh, cosmetic or actual uh, usable. Uh, these stuff attaching to the player. Not sure. Here we go again in the same little town. This is where the other, probably a bit further down the road, where the other shot was taken at the red pickup truck. Just around the corner, probably. Same houses. Yeah, look at the lighting. Looks like they're in some factory building or possibly underground bunker, maybe. Big wall. So has the city been walled off? That looks like skyscrapers in the background, or is that a tree? Looks skyscraper a bit. What do we reckon? Haven't seen a city like that in the store. So yeah, so it could be could be they made the city maybe for Kiana. Is that that is the city, yeah, in the background there. Because that looks like a big spiky one and a little squared one there. So the city's been walled off possibly. We've got this big gate. Skyscrapers, yeah. Yeah, I think the, the first trailer is where they showed off like mud runner type physics. Warhammer. And that, that that's that's all we got. Uh so yeah, not a lot. But we do have Life at fan, fan, Fantastic, the developers, uh in eight one minutes. So we'll hang about for that and we'll chat. So yeah, not not too much to see. Hmm. This shows the city at night time. This is their ray trace trailer. That does look really nice. Got all the screens. Not sure how far after uh, Apocalypse this would be. Because they've built a big wall, which is kind of confusing. Why are all the powers still on if there's a big wall blocking off the city? Unless that was keeping the infected out and then they got in. So that's why the power's still going, because that was like a safe haven, maybe. Uh, I think that's the same backpack. And if we can see, we got the AK on the side now and not that. Looked like a canteen or... A thermos flask is not there now. That's uh, pretty sure that's the same backpack. We now got an AK on the side in, in place. Guns either side of the backpack. Got that same shoulder fire. Animation. See, it does look good though. Oh, well, you saw bits of zombies coming off when they were shooting them. The 
It's a bit bloody. It's blood. I don't know if there's... Nah, nah, I think it's just blood. Blood splats. We couldn't really see the vehicle physics on that shot, but there was a look like a drivable vehicle being shot to bits. Here's the mall. See, it all looks very clean and power's still on, so it's like the zombies have just broken into the wall or something. In the alleyway? What's the alleyway? Oh, he's blowing the arms off, yeah? And the head, yeah? He is blowing them apart. Yeah, so I'd imagine in that new bit of gameplay we got, I, I, I reckon that's what it is. If you've seen the, oh, what was it? Um, Dawn of the Dead? Was it Dawn of the Dead where they had the city, um, where they had the big skyscraper and things and all the rich people lived inside the wall and all the poor people lived in the little huts and shanty town below the skyscraper and the mall and all that? And then the zombies broke into the wall and it's all got taken over. I think that might be kind of where they're going with this as why this is all powered up and clean. It's the only thing I could think of anyway to make it make sense. Bit of PvP there. Bit more with a Hummer rolling through. Yeah, that's the NVIDIA trailer. Yeah. yeah, they've done a couple. The NVIDIA one's not too bad. Shows a bit more. So this one, if you know we've been playing SnowRunners recently and obviously Mudrunner spin tires and all that stuff, this is very, very reminiscent. The first thing I mentioned when this trailer came out was, oh, what? They've got the, the terrain physics and stuff from Mudrunners, SnowRunners. You can see the deformation on the mud and really slow chugging through the mud. Which is really good, and I have mentioned years ago, I mentioned that in Daisy, and they're kind of doing it. Yeah, it is just Mud Runners, LT. Yeah, the mega event tease they did, and then what was it? Just a screenshot or something saying we've delayed, or, and just a screenshot they shared after a big announcement, the thing? Yeah, that was kind of shit, wasn't it? <laughs> Why does he look like a cult leader? <laughs> <laughs> it's all his volunteers on their laptops in front of him. Oh, did you see that? He was moving without touching any controls. Yeah. He had, didn't have his hands on the keyboard or mouse and the character was looking around. Development is like a marathon. We've been creating four the years. Day for four years, day after day. And during this process, life goes on. <laughs> what? One of their volunteers. Well, they look so far like they're really hard working on the game. With the continent up, our team works from all over the world even from the most extreme places on the planet. Told you it'd be people outside with laptops, didn't I? I know LTVs are super fantastic. <laughs> Can't even make this like shit up. Well, I did, I and I was fucking right. This game is like a real amazing. It will be number one of the game of several years. We often get the news hardware from our partners all over the world. For example, this is a new laptop from Qualcomm, and also this summer we received a new... That ThinkPad ain't developing shit on Unreal Engine. ...the latest RTX video card from NVIDIA. All of this hardware is used in the development of our games, and we're very grateful to our partners for their support. Oh, this is the character customization. Well, at least we're getting some extra footage. Uh, I'm surprised we're getting more than in other videos. Oh, trader. We feel tremendous support in our social media and Discord. 
We read all the comments and reviews, even the negative ones. Even the negative ones that put sad music. <laughs> Our culture is based on the idea of volunteering. That means that every fantastic team member is a volunteer what? for life. In my free time, I Does that just mean they as a DJ for get away with not paying people? Uh, I can't button. believe all these people Goodbye. don't want to be paid. <laughs> I don't think they don't want to be paid. I don't know. Was that it? Uh, it showed so. them doing their hobbies and some random guy on the side of a mountain. Oh, yeah, we had a few extra things. First of March is going to release, though. Two months away. Wait, I want to I wanna replay the stuff where you can actually see. Oh, <laughs> the bit where he's not even touching the controls. Yeah, but like, uh, I think that's uh, the cinematic camera. You know. Um, as you can see, like some debug. <laughs> <laughs> there. Uh, it could be, the but it won't make it look like... Oh, yeah, he's in a video call, I think. But it looked like he wasn't playing something. I don't know. If you didn't have it slowed down, you wouldn't realize what it was. This looks like fake gameplay that you forgot to put his hand on the controls for. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so that's be like, like Project uh, Zomboid trait type thing. Yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, traits. You can choose a policeman emergency. I haven't seen yeah, this yeah. before. Camel, all drinks quench thirst more effectively by 25%. <laughs> <laughs> oh god I don't know because it's like he's got a performance graph bottom left of that on his laptop but then it, on the right it looks like he's in a call yeah and I don't see that performance graph on the call image so Is that a microphone? Is that like he's live? It says live, red dot. Looks like a microphone symbol. Cool. Oh, fantasy. oh. Last I thought you'd had a stroke. I forgot to put it at the right accuracy. speed. And reduces the time.